Why does this administration suck so bad? Now, the, the, I, re, I realize that's a complicated answer, right? And it's probably not complicated. It's a long answer. There are a lot of reasons. One, there are a, whole, are a whole lot of Marxists in there, and communism doesn't work. So that's obviously going to be part of it. Another part of it is the president of the United States of America's brain is half functional on a very good day. So that definitely hurts when you don't have any leadership at the top. But why is it they screw everything up? It's not just that they take the wrong position on issues. They're messing up everything all the time. Well, in a late stage republic, when, when you are a nation that has gotten wealthy and powerful, and then you get rich and fat and bored, and you lose any connection to your founding, and you start to go, you start to go through that phase where your nation is going downhill. You've hit your peak and you're going downhill. It's crazy when you read history books how often there is a consistent theme with these nations when this happens. The, all the major empires that crumble, they all, all of them seem to have this in common. The people who are in charge of running things, whether you're sending a governor out to this province, or you're going to have this guy be in charge of defense, or you're going to... All these positions get handed out for reasons that have nothing to do with their qualifications for that post. You hand out this governorship because he is a friend of your wife's. You hand out this position, this elite position to lead the military, not because the guy has any military experience, but because uh, he donated a large amount to your campaign. You hand out jobs to people who have no qualification for the job whatsoever simply because you're a late-stage republic. And as part of that, the leaders of late-stage republics just want to loot the treasury. There's no love of country inside of these people, none. So they don't wake up like you wake up every single day and they think, I want the best for this. I want the border secure. I want the military better. I want the... Those thoughts never go through their mind. All these positions of power that they're allowed to occupy, they're not there for you. They're not there for America. They're there to dip their fingers in the treasury gold before their time is up and they walk out and go do something else.